Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Mary Jane! Today we're gonna make the easiest and simplest dessert ever, at least as far as I know. It consists in literally three ingredients, cream, chocolate and cocoa. It is also highly, highly customizable, so we're gonna try also another version that requires one or two ingredients extra. It is very quick, although it's not the quickest that I know, but it's definitely the simplest one, the easiest one to make. It is a dessert highly recommended to chocolate enthusiast people, people who are lazy in the kitchen, people who are unexperienced in the kitchen, people who don't have a very well equipped kitchen like me, and especially people who have some spare cream that is going to expire soon and they want to use it like me. Although I suspect that this is a very well-known and popular recipe, I have no idea if it's famous outside of Italy or not. In Italian, we call it tartufi al cioccolato, which literally means chocolate truffles. And they're simply little balls of chocolate and cream coated in cocoa powder. It's really that simple. If you're cooking in extreme conditions, meaning that you don't have all the utensils and the equipment that usually a kitchen has, this might be a recipe for you. I'm gonna list the ingredients and the equipment that you're gonna need so you'll understand if you can do it or not. As for the actual ingredients, you are gonna need just cream, fresh cream, some kind of chocolate, which can really be of any kind, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate, whatever you want, and possibly some cocoa powder for, for the coating, but really this recipe can consist of two ingredients only because this is really a ganache for who knows a little bit better about kitchen and understands me. Then you're simply gonna need a bowl to mix the, the ingredients, something to stir the ingredients, possibly a silicone spatula to prevent product waste, a source of heat that could be either a cook stove or a pot on some fire or a microwave and a refrigerator or a place that it's colder than I would say 8-10 degrees Celsius. Let's begin by measuring the ingredients. I'm gonna do it with a scale. I know that Americans do it in volume. I'm not familiar with that method so the recipe is very simple and adaptable. It's simply three parts of cream every five parts of chocolate and vice versa. So you can calculate how much cream you have, for example, and divide it by three and multiply it by five to understand how much chocolate you need or vice versa. If you have limited amount of chocolate, you divide it by five and you multiply it by three to understand how much cream you need. You're gonna understand very soon why I'm making this because, you know, in my channel, I never make things that I wouldn't do in normal life, in real life. So I'm making this recipe because this container is full of cream. I got this cream that is about to expire from my boyfriend's restaurant. So uh, now I'm gonna measure it. I decided to make 150 grams of cream and 250 of chocolate. All right, and 250 of chocolate. I get this chocolate, if anyone is interested, in the United States, since I buy it here, uh, at Trader Joe's, if you have access to it. It's the cheapest and best quality chocolate I've ever found in the US so far. Uh, the chocolate in the United States, it's incredibly <laughs> expensive and cocoa as well. I have no idea why I was shocked when I discovered Perfect, this is 255 grams already, so I don't need to open a new one. So this chocolate, I was saying, uh, we're gonna chop it into pieces now. This chocolate is a 72% cocoa dark chocolate. It says imported from Bel Belgium. I don't know if it really matters that it's imported from Belgium, honestly. Anyway, I get 500 grams for only five dollars which is exactly the price that i get chocolate in europe usually anywhere in europe and it is an amazing price i can tell you 
If you're American and you know why chocolate is so expensive here, please let me know because I really don't understand this. This is the country where cocoa comes from originally and I was expecting it to have a way cheaper cocoa, uh, whereas even cocoa powder is very expensive. Very, like I get this one, oh, I don't remember how much is this one, but a box that in Italy cost, would cost like one euro. Usually we buy boxes of cocoa in Italy for one euro. Here it costs like five or something, five dollars. Okay, it's really not that important how big the pieces are because we're gonna melt the chocolate now inside the cream. I normally would heat, would melt this chocolate inside the microwave, which if you have worked with chocolate before, I suggest you to do because it's way more practical than this traditional method. But I decided to go for this method just to show the more unexperienced people who are watching how it's done in a safer way because chocolate is actually kind of um, delicate <laughs> especially with the heat is chocolate is very delicate so um, in the microwave you really have to pay attention to not burn it otherwise you just throw it in the garbage this we don't need it anymore so inside the pot I have some water, just some water, and it is boiling or almost boiling. Um, I don't want it to splash everywhere. This is the, the only bowl that I have in metal. So that's why it's so big, because it's the only one I have. Okay, we're not gonna need this anymore. Because the chocolate I'm using is very, very dark, very bitter, I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar. <coughs> Sorry. You don't need to add sugar if you're using milk chocolate, definitely not. Or if you're using a mix of milk chocolate and dark chocolate, or if you're using what Americans call semi-sweet chocolate, I think, which is actually just a dark chocolate with a a uh, very low per percentage of um, cocoa solids. So if you're using a 50% to 65%, then it's, it has enough sugar. But since I'm using a 72%, I'm just, just gonna add just a little bit really, because I, I don't like a lot of sugar in sweets. Now all you gotta do is to melt the chocolate. So just wait a little bit until the chocolate has melted. Um, and then in the end, you can stir everything together to make everything homogeneous. That the chocolate is completely melted. I can turn this off. Make sure not to burn myself. This can go away now, we don't need it anymore. All 
All right, this is all incorporated. I decided to make two versions for today just to show you that you can customize them, personalize them as much as you want. Now, all you need to do with this mix is to wait for it to cool down until you can pop it in the fridge for half an hour or so. Since I'm gonna make two versions, I'm gonna transfer it in two different bowls. See, in this case, a rubber spatula is really making the difference because otherwise you're gonna waste so much product. So for the, like the classic version is the one with cocoa powder simply. It, like the, these little balls that we're gonna make with this mix are gonna coat, be coated in cocoa powder. For the other version, I have some almonds at home. So I thought, I thought I will make these balls with almonds. I just toasted a few almonds in the oven for one and a half minutes, literally. Be careful not to burn them. I burned the first bunch that I put inside. And now I'm waiting for them to cool down. In the meantime, I prepare my blender. All right, the almonds that I toasted are have been cooled down now, so I'm gonna just dump them in here and blend them just a little bit. By the way, I always use almonds with the um, skin. Um, if it's not absolutely necessary, I don't take away the skin because it's the part of the almond with the more richness in nutrients. It's also the um, part with most of the fiber. I'm actually gonna put the biggest pieces inside here because they are not gonna stick to the external part of the balls in the end, so it's better if they are inside. Also, I think they will offer a better, better texture <laughs> when you bite into it, right? Mm. Ah, guys, you have no idea how much pleasure I have in making chocolate, chocolate things. All right, these are cold enough to be put in the fridge. Mm. Mm. in the fridge here we are back again it's actually been more than half an hour it's been more almost one hour in the meantime it snowed I'm not kidding it snowed i cannot believe this my boyfriend just called me to tell me that it's snowing outside and it actually is It is still snowing. It is snowing right now. Very, very little flakes, but it is snowing. It's crazy. The sun went away, so um, I put a couple of lights. I don't have proper lights here for my videos, so if you see weird shades or weird lighting, that's why. Okay, we're just gonna shape our balls now and roll them into either almonds or Coco. Nico! <laughs> She's drinking from the plant. They don't have to be perfect balls. Um, I find them even more tasty if they are not, actually. So all you need to do with your hands is to compact them a little bit. Or even not, if you don't want to. OK, 
Okay, let's try with the almond ones now. Oh, they come out so cute. I literally took no time to make them. <laughs> and voila! Mm. I'm gonna go wash my hands one second. This is ready! It's really all it takes. Okay, these go in the fridge now, of course, for at least one hour. I don't know. We're gonna have dinner tonight and then for dessert we're gonna have this. And I'm gonna try to remember to film to film one last clip when I actually dry them so you can see the inside and you can see. very good okay you know what which one do you want to try the almond one because i've already tried them. yeah of course okay so i'm gonna go for the cocoa one all right go 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 do you have enough hands not really It's more bitter than last time, right? Yeah. Last time I used semi-sweet chocolate without sugar at all. Mm. This time I put a little bit of sugar because I changed the, the type of chocolate. Focus, camera, focus. Not gonna happen. Not gonna <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have a third hand to regulate that. It's <laughs> not happening. I think I'm gonna try to try another one. <laughs> oh. oh, come on! Mm. Only one. Mm. Bye. I'm a good guy. How was the one with the almond? Very good. Mm? Very good. Do you feel that there are almonds inside as well? Mm -mm. No. <laughs> because the pieces were too small, probably. Yeah. Which but one do you prefer? Mm. I have to make a decision. I think I'll take the almond one. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I look forward to try it, but guys, one for me is enough because we had such a big dinner. <laughs> so I'm not going to try the almond one as well. From this place, actually. Kafana. The best in New York City. <laughs> Serbian restaurant here in East Village. It's one of our usual places to go eat. All right. Hope you're gonna try them, especially if you're a lazy cook. <laughs> <laughs> and good night to us. Bye bye. Ciao. <laughs>